Greetings, Pip Boys and Vault Girls of the Commonwealth. We are here today to take a look at a new mod called Shadow Boost by Alexander Blade. And this is one terrific mod that really helps you regain some frames per second in some problematic areas, like the inner city. For this exercise, we're going to be using the ENB draw call counter to measure our performance. If you'd like to install ENB series for Fallout 4, please see my video on ENB 0.282. And if you're specifically interested in the draw call feature, please also see my video on ENB 0.283. All right, so we're gonna take a stroll through the inner city. This is with the Shadow Boost mod off and my shadow distance at high. And you can see clearly that my frame rate is struggling. I generally target a frame rate of 50 frames per second. And here you can see I'm dropping well into the 30s and occasionally down even into the 20s. Here you can see my draw call count has gone up all the way to about 15,000. Now we will reload the same area with the Shadow Boost mod enabled. Notice that I am now hitting my target frame rate in this area and my draw call count has been reduced to about 7,000. The way that the mod achieves this is by dynamically increasing and decreasing your shadow distance based on your frame rate. So if your frame rate drops below the target, then the shadow distance is automatically reduced. Likewise, if you have some frame rate to spare, then the shadow distance will increase accordingly. The real benefit here is that you can have the best shadow distance available for your system at any given moment. In areas that are not so demanding, you can benefit from a high shadow distance as opposed to a medium shadow distance. And then when you get into a more demanding area, it'll just drop down accordingly. Okay, let's take a look at how to install and set up Shadow Boost. First, we're gonna to go to the Fallout 4 Nexus. You can use the search tool and search for Shadow Boost. This will return just one result. Go ahead and click on that. And first, on the mod page, we're gonna take a look at the Download Latest Binaries link. This will take you to a page where you can download the binary files for this mod. You can also donate here to the creator, Alexander Blade. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and click the download link and download the file. And go ahead and save that somewhere that you're familiar with. Now, going back to the mod page, we are going to click on the Files tab, and we will download the shadowboost.zip file. And go ahead and save that as well. Now, looking at our saved files, we're going to extract both of these. And then looking at the files in shadowboost.zip, going into the bin folder, we will copy shadowboost.ini. And this goes into your Fallout 4 game folder. And in Steam, we can go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse the Local Files. I've done this earlier, so I'm replacing my previous files. Okay, and now we are going to open the Shadow Boost 1.3.0 folder. And in here, we also go into the Bin folder and select all three files. And again, copy these to your Fallout 4 folder. Now, to configure the mod, we are going to want to open the shadowboost.ini file. In this file, we'll see a few variables. The first is the target frame rate. I'll set this to 50, as this is my preferred frame rate. Now, some users have reported some minor bugs when setting the target frame rate to your exact vsync frame rate. If you have any bugs, I recommend setting this to one or two frames below that. So the minimum allowed shadow distance here is 2,000. That's 1,000 below the default level allowed in the vanilla game and the maximum here is 15,000, which is just above the high setting. So just go ahead and save your settings, and we're ready to go. So let's boot up the game. So I'll leave you with some footage of me zipping around in the inner city of Fallout 4. I thank you for joining me today. Please stay tuned for more news about Shadow Boost, ENB, and other graphics and performance mods for Fallout 4. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more.